what is going on there guys and I'm guessing you're most likely here because you search up in the search bar up above me or up above this video um, how to get the best recording settings with DX touring without lag or some, something close to that and you know what it took me quite a while to figure this out but I'm a nice person and since I'm a nice person um, I made this tutorial for you to show you how to do this now in case you guys don't know, DX Tori is a recording software used to record Windows PC games just like Fraps or yeah, just like Fraps or Bandicam. I think there's something called Bandicam, but I've never heard of it. No, I've, I've ne not I've never heard of it. I've never used this, so um, I really can't speak about Bandicam, but I've used Fraps and DX Tori provides more um, customization options. So let's just get started. First thing you want to do is you want to open DX Tori. Wow, that was such common sense. Cool. Anyone could have figured that out you probably most likely have that open right now and you get here now go to go what you want to do first of all is just jump straight to folder right to the folders um tab and you want to add a new folder now these you want to make new folders and then for every single game right so make a folder called gameplay video save it to your heart I don't know wherever you want on your hard drive as long as you can find it easily I put mine on my desktop because it's much more convenient for me and um, in that gameplay videos folder, make e different folders for all the games you're planning on recording. So I made a Tribes Descent folder, Rayman, Combat Arms, Blacklight Retribution, BLR for short. Now I'm going to use, say I'm recording Rayman, right? Press OK. Right? And I got my thing right here. That's Rayman. I'll just delete this once. Now you know what? Just leave them there. So yeah, this is my Rayman uh, folder. Now what you want to do is you want to go to hotkeys and set the hotkeys to whatever you want. I set mine to F9 because I was used to that from Fraps before I found out about this software and then when you go under vit movie which is the little camcorder ta um, picture under tab thingy um, change the codec or the codec is going to be automatically set to DX story video codec leave it like that now click on show click on the show configuration dial um, little button thing click on it and then change the quality from medium quality high quality true quality whatever you whatever you have it on to low quality and I'm um, check compress and press ok then and limit your frame rate to 30 make the output file make the output file output don't click direct show um, output so make a file output and then change the file format if it's on raw cap to AVI and what's next what's next what's next under scaling change it from percent to um, from percent to size and then make your width 1280 and your height 720 so under size um, width 1280 height 720 is that cool all right let's continue and here let's go to audio and here is where stuff gets tricky um, if you're planning on doing a live commentary which I have I think I've done one or two <laughs> so far what you want to do is this um, you want to set up a channel for recording the game sound and you also want to set up a channel for recording your audio which when you're speaking you're from your microphone right so what you want to do is click on this plus button right here in screen click on that and then oops, click on that again and you should see number two appear so it's audio stream number two and then you want to change that from speakers to microphone and then select uh, it's already gonna be selected so you don't have to worry about any of this crank it all the way up to 100 crank the volume on the microphone all the way up to 100 and you're pretty much done here now let's go to screenshots you can change the quality no the um, file type to JPEG PNG depend on what you're gonna use it for and the quality of the JPEG to 100 if you want doesn't really matter up to you this part is not important and um, yeah once you go then go under advanced uh, let's see you can check use default settings if you are pretty much you're pretty much worried about screwing up anything just check default settings if you want to use my guide and get the best quality because I'm awesome uh, if you have a quad core change the um, number of threads to two and if you don't then just leave it on one so I have a quad core CPU, change that to 2, and you also want to force CPU processing. If you have a good CPU and if your CPU is overclockable, then you want to do that because 
the the load on the GPU is decreased when the GPU and the CPU GPU meaning graphics processing unit and your CPU are working side by side together so basically it's pretty much your games run your games run much faster while you're recording so yeah uh, you can limit the video frame rates per second FPS to 60 if you want or any other frame rates per second I'll just leave that unchecked because it's my personal preference and that's it for this video happy recording and remember guys if this video helped you give it a thumbs up be sure to comment rate and subscribe peace